All right, okay, so, <laughs> wait lang. Whew. Okay, all right, so hello, dears. Ayan, so hello, hello, good af- good good day, all right. So, welcome to another pre-recorded lecture in our class in immunology and serology. And for this lecture, we're now going to start, no, looking into the serology, the application again of the concepts that we have discussed in the previous uh, lectures, its application on the diagnosis of disease, okay? All right, and um, mag-start na ta, hinay-hinay, all right? And we'll start first with serology of Streptococcus pyogenes, all right? Or the group A strep. So we'll look into the diagnosis of group A strep infections through serology, all right? So unsa na mga tests? Serolog- serological tests atong pwedeng i-perform uh, to determine or to diagnose again uh, streptococcal infections. Okay? Alright. <laughs> so, I hope okay lang kayo dyan. Alright? So, kalma-kalma lang. So, again, this is your strep pyogenes serology or your group A strep serology. Okay. Alright. Now, for a short background um, on the bacterium. Nako, yes. Recall, bacte, yes. Medyo, ano lang ta, trip down memory lane sa bacteriology, okay? <laughs> medyo, yes, konti lang. Medyo, let's rewind, yes. Go to the past. Ay, yes, visit the past. Okay, so again, streptococcus pyogenes, also known as your group A strep, di ba? The uh, member, yes, of your group A strep. Nga no ganit siyang kitawag na group A because of its Lansfield antigen. Nako, yes, na-remember pa ba? Your Lansfield antigen. And kinsa na discover aning Lansfield antigen? Of course, wag na mag si Rebecca uh, Lansfield, de ba? All right, ayan. So this is um, a protein, ah, protein ba? Or a carbohydrate yata. On the cell wall, no, on the surface of your Streptococcus pyogenes or your Streptococcus species, de ba? Your Lansfield antigen. That is why group A siya, because again of um, A of the A antigen of the Lansfield antigen yan na A. Alright? Okay. Uh, gram stain is, of course, gram-positive cocci in chains. Diba? Kaya nga, strep, strep in chains. Diba? Meaning sa strep is in chains. Alright? And of course, nako, dapat karon dili na malibog, kung gram-positive or gram-negative, nako, press the buzzer na. Cocci, so therefore, that's gram-positive. And of course, culture niya, asa man siya culture sa blood agar plate, of course. Small, grayish-white, transparent to translucent, Matte or glossy, and of course, very characteristic, very distinct, large zone of beta hemolysis. Diba? So, siya dyan ang um, aware, or siya dyan ang representative of mga strep species na beta hemolytic. So, when you say beta hemolytic, diba? Clearing, na actually clearing around the colonies, diba? If gi incub- inoculate siya into a culture medium with blood, example, blood agar plate. So, large zone of beta hemolysis or beta hemolytic, nako, press the buzzer, group A streptococcus. And some of its biochem, yes, nakaremember pa ba, you have basitrase susceptible or your taxo A. Catalase neg, of course, this is the test, di ba? Catalase that separates your staph and the strep sa mga coxi because your staph is catalase positive and your strep is catalase negative. And of course, PYR positive, positive, PYR positive, your streptococcus uh, pyogenes. Naho, sana na-remember pa. <laughs> okay. Ay, wala man. Yeah, you're, you were not my students in bacteriology last sem, so. <laughs> Alright, sige lang. Okay. Baka na-remember pa. Hopefully naman. Alright, okay. Ayan. So again, just some uh, characteristic niya, no? Introduction. Alright. Now, we go na to its, um, uh, again, cell wall structure niya, similar to gram-positive bacteria and other streptococci. Diba? Recall one of our gram-staining rules, all cocci are gram positive, except for sino yon? NVM, Neisseria, Valonella, and Moraxella. Nako sana, sana naman remember pa to mga press the buzzer na dapat. Okay, all right. Ayan. And aside from that, again, its group antigen is unique due to the Lansfield group A. Kinsa tong strep species? Ayan, di ba nagbakte? <laughs> Kinsa tong group species na walay Lansfield antigen? Kinsa to siya? Nako, very ano din? Popular. Nako, dapat press the buzzer na. Sige, five seconds lang. Five, four, three, two, one. Kinsa to walay, kinsa to walay lines with antigen? Si strep pneumonia. Okay, nako. Yes. <laughs> your strep pneumonia or your pneumococcus, they lack, um, it does not have the lines with antigen. Okay, sana naman. Review lang, review. Okay. And also, uh, one of its virulence factors, one of its very, very popular, very potent then a virulence factor of your strep pyogenes is the M protein which is attached to the peptidoglycan of the cell wall and extends to the cell surface. 
And the M protein is essential for virulence, diba? So, I think that was discussed in your lecture with Ma'am Teddy. Yes? M protein, one of its very effective good na virulence factors. All right? M protein. And now, yes, we're now going to discuss some of the virulence factors of strep pyogenes because it is in these uh, virulence factors that we then can use no, to detect antibodies. Okay? Or your body creates no, antibodies against these virulence factors, some of them. Okay? And these antibodies are now what we test usually, all right? Serologically, all right? Okay. Now, we go now to the first virulence factor, your M protein. So, it allows the streptococcal cell to resist phagocytosis and allows, and also plays a role, excuse me, in adherence to mucosal cells, okay? So, as you can see, diba, when you say virulence factors, these are substances, these are structures found in the bacterial cell that help them, no? Help them uh, help them go away, no? Or help them save themselves from the effects of the immune system on the body, on, on them, diba? So, and also to further their infection, okay? Para mas must spread sila. Alright, that's the point of the virulence factors. That's M protein. Next is your fibronectin binding protein or your protein F and lipotechoic acid, which are still adhesion molecules that mediate adherence to host epithelial cells. So, of course, because they have these proteins, mas mo tapot sila sa imuhang epithelial cells. That is why, hence, mo tapot man siya, so mas maglisod sila og, uh, mas maglisod sila og katangtang. Alright? So, magtapot ragi sila dito, so, of course, mas mo further, or mas pas pa silang pag-invade sa tissues or sa, imong, sa, sa epithelial cells. Okay? Alright. Hyaluronic acid capsule, okay? It prevents opsonized phagocytosis pa rin and allows the bacterium to mask its antigens. So, again, prevents phagocytosis. So, dili sila ma mapatay sa imuhang phagocytes. And mask its antigens. So, therefore, dili siya ma-detect sa imuhang uh, immune system and other, you know, cells in the immune system. Kay, di man siya makakita sa antigens. Alright? So, wala, wala yung signal, no? Na na pathogen. Na foreign antigen na naa. Ganun. Okay? Alright. And you have the DNAs. Uh, by the name itself, it, it depolymerizes. Depolymerizes DNA. And it secretes four DNAs. You have A, B, C, and D. Now, these virulence factors, again, usually your body creates antibodies to them, no? Or creates mga reactions to them that we now use for serological tests, okay? So, again, continuing. Your hyaluronidase, by the name itself, the spreading factor. Also, your Staphylococcus aureus, I think it has also hyaluronidase your spreading factor. So, what it does, ACE man siya, hyaluronidase, meaning it's an enzyme. Okay? So, what it does, kaya yung i-destroy or yung i-solubilize ang hyaluronic acid which is the ground substance of our connective tissues. Diba? So, by the name itself, since yung mga i-solubilize ang hyaluronic acid, so, ma-weaken na ito ang, uh, mawala ng ground substance at ng connective tissues. Therefore, mas paspas na po siyang mu, uh, mu, mu spread. Okay? Alright? Or mga one place to another. Streptokinase, it converts plasminogen to plasmin which lies as fibrin clots. Okay. Because again, um, the clots, no, if na clots na yang daanan, pwede siyang matrap sa clots. Okay. So therefore, if matrap siya sa clots, dili na siya ka spread. Okay. So therefore, it secretes, it, it secretes this enzyme known as streptokinase which lies as the fibrin clots. Para again, mas mo further yahang pag spread. Okay. And hemolysins, di ba? Recall hemolysins. But then himself, it lies as WBCs, platelets, and of course your RBCs. That's why mo exhibit siya um, hemolysis pattern in your blood agar plate. Okay, because na siya hemolysins. And we have two types, di ba? So mga review na lang junisin yung lecture, hopefully sa bacteriology. Of course, your streptolysin O, SLO, by the name itself, it's your heat labile. So meaning dali siyang ma uh, guba by heat. All right? And it's the hemolysis that we observe in plates if we incubate them. Uh, aerobically, uh, anaerobically, sorry, kay oxygen label man siya. And it's the hemolysis, the hemolysis that is immunogenic. Ayan, so nanaputa na mga terms. So when you say immunogenic, it elicits an immune response. Okay? Alright, ayan. So that's SLO or your streptolysin O. And of course, the next is streptolysin S. So it's non immunogenic, meaning it's the hemolysis that does not elicit an immune response. No? So dilita ka produce of antibodies against that. And it's oxygen stable. Ayan. So S, nanadaan, S, ayan, stable. And it's the, um, it's, it causes the hemolysis that we observed in plates incubated aerobically. Since matolerate man niya ang oxygen. Okay, that is why I think na discuss again ni Ma'am Teddy. 
<laughs> sa inyong lecture. If we culture strep, strep pyogenes, no? We, uh, abil sa pagculture niya, but I, we're not, wala na ako na na-experience or wala na ako gi-observe. Um, <laughs> Apil sa pagculture niya is stab ang uh, blood agar plate. Stab ni mo siya using a loop. So, pagculture ni mo, stab po ni mo ang plate. Because again, to visualize the hemolysin na SLO. Uh, para sa ubos. Um, uh, Ma-visualize ni mo ang pag hemolyze sa SLO. Uh, kay anaerobic man ang environment pag stab ni mo dito sa, sa ilalong sa, sa plate in a way. Alright? So that's part of the parang methodology niya. Alright? But it's not commonly observed. Wala ko ka-experience, Ana, uh, in internship or even sa ato ang activity. So normal 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 culturing na siya. Normal streaking. Alright? But in Bailey and Scots na ako siya nabasa. And I think sa Mayhon po, uh, if mo culture ka strep, you stab also the plate. Okay? Why? For the reason of SLO or streptolysis. We, we also need to visualize. Or so that we can visualize also the hemolysis caused by SLO. All right? Because by stabbing, no, we are introducing the bacteria in a way in an, in an anaerobic <laughs> environment. So hence, it promotes the lysis or the, the hemolysing, huh? the lysing <laughs> in a way of streptolysin O. Kaya di ba, ganahan siya anaerobic. Ayan. So again, so asa na ang concern nato ani is your SLO, immunogenic. Okay, alright. Ayan. Sige. Next, we have also your streptococcal pyrogenic exotoxins. Uh, these are erythrogenic toxins. You have SPA, SPE, and SPC. Yes, exotoxins. So mga toxins na yung gina-release. Uh, they function as super antigens, mitogenic proteins, and stimulate T-lymphocyte proliferation. So di ba, we have the SPSS, the uh, streptococcal pyogenes parang shock syndrome, yes, it's because of these exotoxins. So they release no, uh, these toxins that can no, uh, amplify our immune system. So pwede siya ma-overreact atong immune system no? so, and can lead to shock, diba? shock syndrome, yes. And you have the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotidase, so enzyme pa rin, hydrolyzes the coenzyme nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. So as, as you can see, ang mga biochemical characteristics or the biochemical tests na itong perform on bacteria are actually determining in a way their virulence factors din. Alright? So diba, we have mga DNA tests, we have catalase, no? we have mga hemolysis and all that. So yes, muna siya. Alright, so these are some of the virulence factors of streptococcus pyogenes. Now we go now to the clinical infections no? of the of the of streptococcus pyogenes. Of course, the pinaka common is your bacterial pharyngitis or your strep throat, diba? So usually a strep throat, if you see, dapat na yung mga mga pus, no? Yellow na mga ano there, yellow stuff. Okay, that indicates pus, diba? Because again, pyogenes, pyo, meaning pus, and genes is producing, diba? So that is why it's named as um, streptococcus pyogenes because it's pus producing. Ayan. So, uh, bacterial pharyngitis usually na nai nana, no, nai pus. So, maybe that can be caused by, bacter uh, by streptococcus pyogenes. All right. And those are some of its symptoms. Another disease, it's necrotizing fasciitis. All right. <laughs> necrotizing fasciitis. Ayan. So, inana yung appearance, no. Uh, it's an invasive infection, inflammation, and necrosis. So, namatay ang skin, ang fat, and the fascia. Or like parang tissue pa rin dira sa yung skin. Okay? So, the fascia. Alright, that is why, gikaon na yung skin. That is why you have the flesh-eating bacteria. That is why it's called um, the flesh-eating bacteria, your S. pyogenes. Okay? Because of this appearance. Diba? The flesh-eating bacteria. Diba? True enough, lang tawa, diba? Wala na siya flesh. Nakita na ang unod. <laughs> the muscle because of that. So, because of strep pyogenes, okay? So, necrotizing fasciitis, fasciitis. Necrotizing, ginecrotize, namatay ang tissue, namatay ang skin, alright? And yeah, fasciitis, inflammation of the fascia. So, fascia is parang ano? Yes. I, I forgot the definition. Pero sa, like, part siya po sa mukhang layer sa skin. Yes, the fascia. Alright, and it's also like, um, mu, mu jump ang mu jump ni siya, okay? So, like, from here, mabutang po, mabut po siya sa pikas. No, that's why it's also known as your uh, jumping, if I'm not mistaken, ha? gangrene. Diba? Ayan. Okay. Full ako na sayo. <laughs> if chakto akong pagka-remember. Alright, okay. And ha, you may be wondering, sir, yun sa pag-abot nila sa face, no? So, example, nakigchika ka o someone na naay <laughs> strep pyogenes, siguro carrier man lang, or na siya ay sakit na sore throat, and then pagchika niya, nalagpot ang laway, diri. So, yan. Pwede na. 
Yeah, dran na kakos, okay? Alright, like that. One of the ways, siguro, para maabot siya sa face. Okay? Alright, and natin yung chikan na lecturer, well-known lecturer, national lecturer, si Dean Rodriguez, Tess Rodriguez. Um, yeah, experience internship daw. During her internship, naka-experience siya na, ni ko siya swab, no? Boon swab, boon swab, ani. O patient na na ay necrotizing fasciitis and it smells bad you daw. Like, sa gawas pa lang sa room, ma smell na daw ni mo siya. Because again, necrotizing. So it's like dying tissue, okay? So, baho yun siya. Alright, baho jaw siya. Yes. Well, okay, experience ani do. Yeah, thankfully. Okay, alright, ayan. And of course, the toxic shock syndrome, STSS, di ba? Uh, the entire organ system shuts down, leading to death, okay? Because of the different exotoxins na release and other virulence factors din sa mong strep pa yun. Okay. Alright, next we also have imperigo, alright, or empetigo. Mga small vesicles that progress to weeping lesions, so magduga, alright, that crust over after several uh, days. So, empetigo. Not only strep payo ha, na pa'y other causes of empetigo, mga, like staph, of course, staph oreos and other um, bacteria then. You have erysipelas, or er erysipelas, erysipelas, yes. Uh, erythematous, meaning nagpula-pula, no? And I demarcated but irregular edge. Edge meaning demarcated, magdirira siya kutob, pero yung edge is irregular, dili smooth. Okay, so nasa demarcated meaning dirira siya taman, dirira ko kutob, dirira ko taman char. Okay, di na ko mugo ko charot lang. Okay, so demarcated. So example, dirila ng tama na demarcate demarcation, di ba? And then pero irregular yah ang edge meaning giring giring ba siya or dili smooth. All right. Okay, that's erysi erysipelas. Okay, ayan. So I hope na discuss ni siya ha. Pero, we also have what we call an erysipeloid or erysipeloid. Ayan. Kinsa ganin na kakos aning erysipeloid? Nako, na-discuss ganin na ako sa mga bakit students. Erysipeloid, kinsa nagkos ani? Si erysipelotrix. Ayan, nasa pangalan na. Erysipelotrix rujopadie. Diba? Yes, Mark. Gimi ko na ako bakit. Yes. Erysipeloid. Oid. Basta oid. Pero, ang erysipelas as is of course your S payo. So how do I remember? AS, group A strep. O, oh, di ba? As, erysipelas, erysipelas. Basta pelas, as, AS, group A strep. So it's caused by strep payo. But if erysipeloid, loid, si erysipelothrix. Okay? Ayan. Erysipelothrix rugeopathy. One of my favorite na kagaw. Okay? Alright. Ayan. And of course, you have cellulitis. Um, deeper invasion of strep no, can also be life-threatening if maabot siya sa blood, can cause bacteremia or sepsis. And also may lead to gangrene. So, uh, it's a mix, no, ang infections ni strep. Pwede siyang internal, no, pwede siyang bloodstream, pwede po siyang uh, surface, no, or skin infections. Yes. Uh, next, we go now to your scarlet fever. Again, diffuse red rash and um, caused by uh, and spread to the trunk and extremities. Uh, these are the these are caused by your SPEs, your pyrogenic uh, exotoxins. So pyrogenic, we say pyrogenic, uh, it causes heat, diba? or induces fever. Pyrogenic, ayan. So as uh, a scarlet fever, desha guys, sorry, dili desha sa STSS. I think that's a factor put. But anyway, nalimot ako no, but yes, scarlet fever, All right? And of course, the very important number, the sequelae, you have rheumatic fever, rheumatic heart fever, inflammation of the heart, joints, and vessels and subcutaneous tissues, and of course, your acute glomerulonephritis, post-streptococcal uh, acute glomerulonephritis, all right? These are a complication wherein ang immune complexes are deposited in your um, kidneys, all right, in your glomerulus, all right? Now, usually the rheumatic fever, okay, these two guys, no, these are known as the sequelae, okay? <laughs> Okay, sequelae. So when you say sequelae, parang mga sequelae, mga consequences, or mga secondary uh, infections or conditions that will develop after a primary infection, parang ganun. So in this case, after uh, uh, a streptococcal infection, let's say scarlet fever ba, or like sore throat in this case, or mga skin infections, kanis lang duha ang pwedeng uh, secondary consequences, okay, or secondary infections na mahitabo. Very, very, very characteristic and very ano po, important and deadly rin na mga infections. Rheumatic fever and your acute glomerulonephritis. Your rheumatic fever usually mahitabo rasha after uh, throat infection, okay, after a pharyngitis. 
caused by strep pyogenes. If dili maagapan ang, ang, ang strep pyo infection in the throat, it can lead to rheumatic fever because the antigens daw, <laughs> the antibodies rather, that were supposed to attack the antigens on the throat, mo cross react with the antigens then found in the heart. Okay? That is why it leads to inflammation of the heart. Okay? And mga joints and blood vessels. Okay? Because there is a cross reaction between the antibody supposed to be na, na, na directed towards the antigens sa throat, uh, because na dito ang strepayo, uh, ni cross react siya with the antigens, normal antigens ba? Sa imuhang heart, no? mga, mga surface markers or whatever. Sa imuhang heart, ni react po ang antibodies dito. So muna magka-inflame. Alright? Um, and usually, ang rheumatic fever daw, dili mahitabo after skin infections caused by espayo. Alright? Only after throat, okay? Na mga pharyngitis. Whereas your acute glomerulonephritis, it happens from a throat infection or a skin infection. So either of the two. Okay? And again, what happens is the immune complexes, meaning the antibodies na react to your strep of course, immune complex, ma-deposit siya sa imuhang glomerulus. Now, these immune complexes, di ba, recall in your complement system, uh, ma-trigger ang complement system, ma-trigger ang other uh, parts of your immune system. That is why, since naman siya sa glomerulus, no? so i-attack imuhang glomerulus because na dito ang immune complex. So your immune system doesn't know na na siya sa imuhang glomerulus, alright? Basta ang ilang after is the immune complex na mat matang-tang to siya. So, sa pagpatangtang sa imuhang immune complex, ma-appeal ang imuhang glomerulus. That is why na ay glomerulonephritis. Okay? Alright. And so these are the two important sequelae, okay? Or mga consequences of a streptococcal infection. Okay. Alright. Ayan. Now, these two sequelae usually atong kailangan jud i-look after. Okay? And that is now what we're going to discuss in the next part of our video, the laboratory diagnosis of your streptococcal infections, all right? And we'll focus more on serological because immunosero na ni guys, dali niya siya Okay? All right, so I'll see you in the next video.